تمشي This boy left school in Idlib three years ago to work to support his family after his father was killed in an airstrike. The province remains a battle zone after 12 years of war, even though the conflict is often no longer in the headlines. I work repairing motorcycles. My job is to give tools to my boss. The United Nations says the suffering of children in Syria has reached unprecedented levels this year. The pandemic and the food crisis have stretched aid resources thin, and available funding to support families is dwindling. Aid groups say the schools that are educating 100,000 Syrian children in Idlib province are now in danger of closing because of international funding cuts last month. Bashar's mother says after her husband died, she got a job and tried to keep all of her five children in school. I worked as a school administrator for three months, but then I fell ill and had to go to the hospital. I was forced to let my son learn the job of repairing motorcycles and cars so we could live. Now only the two youngest children go to school, and aid workers say this is not unusual. But if more schools close, they warn, the results could be catastrophic. 30% of children are already out of school, and that's a very large number. If we lose support, that number will double, reaching 60%. This number is terrifying. And teachers say children who cannot attend school have almost no future. More children will join the labor force when schools close because their education will be interrupted. They will spend their time on the streets, facing their own fates, and this will lead to a disaster in society. Besides increasing child labor, this disaster could also include child marriages and more children recruited into militant groups. Bashar says he only dreams of affording good, fresh food for his family, but he hasn't forgotten that he once had a chance to get an education. <laughs> The truth is, I love school. I would love to go back. The UN says most children in Syria are already living in dire poverty and face shortages of food, clean water, and electricity. About a third are malnourished, and many still face the dangers of war. Heather Murdoch for Monib Time, VOA News, Idlib, Syria.